Hey everybody, Vacation Air Tom here with the one, the only, John Self. And yes, this video is starting in a vehicle because we are at Busch Gardens Tampa today. We're going to try to rope drop and do as many coasters as we can. Now, we don't have a definitive plan. I mean, we have an idea of what we want to do. You you have an idea of what you want to do. But uh, I don't know the, the correct way. So don't look at this as a, hey, this is the way you should do the coasters in the morning. More of a, let's experiment and see what we come up with. So... Uh, the first thing is Busch Gardens usually opens up early and it's a 10 a.m. opening. So we got here. It is now 8.58. So we are a little over an hour before official park opening. And there is a good amount of cars lined up to uh, get in. I personally am shocked that there is this many people waiting an hour before the posted park opening. Uh, but yeah, so this will be very interesting to see. Uh, so follow us on our day, our adventure at Busch Gardens Tampa, and uh, yeah, we'll see how many coasters we can get on. All right, we are through security. So the front gates, or the to park, rather, the parking opened up at 9:25. Uh, we promptly parked in preferred parking. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Uh, got into security. They held everybody at security checkpoint until about 9.45, where they opened that up. And being early as we were, uh, we didn't have to wait too long. Uh, there was a little bit of a line behind us, a little bit of buildup. So we're in the park. It is now 9.47. And we're on our way to, should be a no surprise, Iron Gwazi. Now, if it's running first thing in the morning, life is good. Uh, it was either this or Cheetah Hunt. I'm not sure which one has the better throughput. Serengeti Flyer was an option. Oh, Serengeti Flyer, because it's the new thing for the year, that also was an option, but typically that would not be your, uh, if you're, especially if you're coaster centric, that wouldn't be your uh, first go. So uh, let's ride some Iron Gwazi, hopefully. I don't see it running at all. It's not testing. So I'm hoping there's no delayed opening this morning, but we shall see. All right. so. They open up the queue at 10.04. I'm using my phone for this, so forgive me for uh, some, maybe the, the sound isn't right. Uh, I got a strange, weird dude behind me. But I got my GoPro on, so we're gonna record. This is John's first ride on Iron Gwazi. It's going to be exciting. We should get on the uh, first train since we don't really care what uh, where we sit. So let's do this. Hi, right, John. Are you ready for this? Uh, no. You're first. I'm having Steel Vengeance flashbacks. It will be very similar. Clarins. Oh! Click, 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 click. This is going to be very painful. Oh, there she is. It's not going to be as painful as the old body. Serengeti Flyer. We'll be on that later. No pain there at all. I don't know if my fanny pack it. crushing into me uh, is protecting me somehow. Have I found the cure to the RMC pain? Maybe. Maybe. All right, John. What are your thoughts? First time riding. Thoughts were really good. Iron Gwazi. The theming's not quite as good on the traction as Steel Vengeance. I think the thrills in that section are 
better than Steel Vengeance, so it's probably a tie between Steel Vengeance and this one. Um, I thought it was really good. This restraint system, uh, the one at Steel Vengeance, is, is better for me. I really struggle with this Interesting. kind of system. This kind of but system, this is the same as... It's not... This part is different. This all right, all right, all right. padding, and because I used to be an athlete, I have no fat here. Uh, oh, it's fat. It's uh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. But I think all in all, I kind of remember Steel Vengeance being a little longer, but that may be because they have, it takes longer to get to the, the um, lid fill. Yeah. But I thought that was really good. That's an excellent addition to Bush Garden. Oh, heck yeah. All right, it's 10.13. Just got off Iron Gwazi. Oh, so much fun. Now, Cheetah Hunt, which I see is running. So that is a very good sign. So hopefully the want, the wait isn't too long a Cheetah Hunt. I'm expecting at least a 35 minute wait, but we shall see. So uh, on our way to the Cheetah Hunt, a glorious morning so far. All right, well, this can't be right. It says it's a five minute wait. There's no way that's accurate, but we'll find out. Let's go. I always do that. All right, well, it's not a five minute wait here at Cheetah Hunt, but it's not bad. And I think from what I saw, they do have both stations running, so uh, they should cycle through people pretty rapidly uh, when they do. So that will be glorious, having a great start to our day. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be right. All right, John, it's been a minute since you've ridden this coaster. Are you excited? A long minute. Of course I am. I love the magnetic launch code. Yeah. Here we go. Speaking of launch code launching. The one thing about this one you cannot say is that it does not have length. That's right. It is a, a uh, long coaster. Well, what do you think? It's enjoyable as it always is. So, let me ask you. What, what is your favorite? Wow, it's going sound fun. I, I, I'm a sucker for any attraction that goes up and then takes you into the tunnel. Okay, that's cool. That's my favorite part. That's your favorite. Mine is the swishing back and forth. Yeah, I don't like that. I much. love But that. I have flashbacks to like Rip Rod Rocket when you that one. <laughs> I love the switching. All right, Cheetah Hunt currently is posting at 60 minutes, which is probably about right. So uh, we just got off that. Like I said in the video, it is 10.53 right now. Uh, the Cheetah Hunt, they couldn't lock one train, so they had a fiddle fart with that for like 10 minutes or so before they could send a car. So that was unfortunate. But uh, like I said, it's still within the first hour. Uh, a capacity, uh, a terrible capacity uh, coaster yeah. is the Cobra's Curse, which we're gonna hit now. So I'm hoping it's still, it's not too crazy. I, I, I don't think so, but we'll see. It's a family coaster. So, you know, uh, many more people can ride this. Let's see, what does it say? 25 minutes, I believe. Let me flip this camera. 35, so. It's only going to go up from here. So let's jump in while the jumping is good. Unfortunately, uh, for John's first experience at Cheetah, or <laughs> Cobra's Curse, the uh, effects on this snake aren't working, which is sad because I've never ridden this 
where it hasn't been working, and that's when I'm walking through here with no weight. So that's for me. It's <laughs> they shut it down for you. So that's unfortunate, but maybe next. Time. All right, John, this is your first time on Cobra's Curse. The curse is real. The curse is real. We are going to. Are you inside? Ah. Oh, that's not right. That's, I got the wrong right. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. sorry, sorry. It's very exciting. The magic I cannot save you now? Nothing will save you. Okay, make sure. There's no turning back now. Let's just throw in every quote there is. Awaken, a serpent. Awaken, the darkness! The darkness awakens, my power grows. <laughs> He's the same actor, the voice actor. The first interesting thing you'll notice is we go up an elevator. That's I, I really like that. Here we go. <laughs> and you think it's normal? No, now we're backwards. Which I'll admit, I'll admit this is not my favorite element of this coaster. distribution it can get a little yeah, hairy all right well, what did you think of that one i thought it was good i think it's a nice little coat yeah, yeah yeah it's cute i had a little trouble with the fact that this restraint is pushing on my stomach as we're going uh, backwards yeah so backwards. i had that little tiny you know if you do this for a long time you're going to get motion sick yeah so i can see that yeah yeah but it's a good coaster right now yeah it's 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 lacking steaming in certain spots but that's not surprising for this brand of yeah i mean part. honestly for the the level of coaster this is, it's, I think it's heavily themed, considering it's just like a glorified wild mouse kind of. All right, the next logical progression is to do Montu. It is now 11.33 in the AM. Yeah. Um, not sure what the weight is. It's like 30 minutes. Maybe more. All right, Montu, John, you ready for this? I'm always ready for this. We'll be ready for a break after this one. Will we? We will. Okay, I think you have a special break for you. I do have a special break because they have free beer again this summer at Bush Gardens, Tampa, and Sea Orlando. I feel like it's my duty to go and make sure it's okay. I know it is.
at the very end. Yeah, like, hey. Very good. Now, the problem with most of these operationally is you get stuck here for yeah. an undetermined amount of time where I have to cycle the other one too. And this guy here is on the phone, so that's not a good sign. Luckily, we are in a bit of shade, and we're not directly in the sun, so that's positive. Let's see, it's now 11.55, so we did all these before noon, so uh, within two hours, first two hours of park opening, we got um, Iron Gwazi, uh -huh. the Cheetah Hunt, Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, mm -hmm. and Montu. Yep. So we got this side of the park done. Now we can move over to the free beer side of the park and keep on going. We just walked by Cobra's Curse and I posted at 100 minutes. So I'll be very curious to see what Cheetah Hunt's posted. John, over or under 100 minutes? Uh, Cheetah will be below that. Below 100? Below okay. 100. I'm not right. guaranteeing how much, you just asked. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, over under. So you're saying yeah. under. Yep. Oh, I think you're right by five minutes. Oh no, 15 minutes, 85 minutes, yeah. So capacity kills in these attractions. Uh, wow, yeah. So I don't know. That means we better get out of this section now. Yeah, this is where the new, generally the new coaster is kind of over there, plus the, arguably the most, uh, they're, Busiest coaster, family friendly coaster, yeah. let me put it that way, is here. So, yeah, this section of park, you're gonna expect to be busy. So, let's get out of this section, go to Pantopia or whatever it's they called it, and uh, see what's you over mean there. Is there free beer? No, it just so happens that free beer there. Oh, okay, okay. It's just a, a, luckily co a lucky coincidence. And the one thing I love about Bush Gardens Tampa is the little penguin point here. I always enjoy hanging out here, checking out the penguins. They're always fun. They're cute. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. But unfortunately, no time for that. No time for the train. Free beer started getting started at 1030. It's now 1202. So the people who might be uptight about having a beer before noon, they're now in line. So I suspect free beer line will be rather large. All right, well, the free beer will have to wait. Serengeti Fro the Serengeti Flyer is right here. I totally forgot about that. And honestly, I didn't know where the entrance point was to it anyway, because I haven't been here since it opened. So we're gonna hit that first, and then the free beer. Sadly, very, very sadly. May I have your attention, please? Yeah, this section is new. Oh, here we go. Oh, five minute wait for their brand new attraction? That's insane. Look how cool. Please refer to we'll have to get a photo, uh, John, after the ride, of course. Five minutes, here we come. All right, John, mm -hmm. you took a picture of the milder wild thing. Yep. What did it say? Still don't understand it. Oh, obviously it can't be at the same time because they also didn't give us. So I think certain times of day, this thing is more extreme. All right, there we go. Uh, milder offers breathtaking views, uh, wilder reaches. Uh, Milder experience from park open until 1 p.m. Wilder from 1.15 to park close. Okay. So there you go. So we're doing the mild. So we're taking it easy today, folks. Maybe uh, we'll swing back around if it's a low weight. We'll do the wild side. It is 40 people per uh, cycle. 10 on each side of each train. Here we go. You, this this attraction is in the middle of nowhere. So the Serengeti Flyer is a properly named because you're literally just out in the Serengeti. For the flyer. No. We're about to fly in the Serengeti. I've talked about this so many times. None of the descriptions have made me feel safe on it. The time for talking is over. Pretty much. The vlogger has to ride it. Ah, oh, there we dangerous go. Dangerous animals do not enter. Booga, booga, booga. Ah!
it's just faster. Yep. So you don't go any higher. I can't confirm that part. Interesting. And there's Kumba in the distance. That will be the next coaster, most likely, that we'll be hitting after the free beer flip. After I throw up. <laughs> what do you think, John? Um, it's really cool attraction. I'm really glad they added it. It's good use of space. But uh, I didn't do so well. Oh, okay. So this is worse than any of the coasters you've written so far. Yeah. For me, yes. Wow. Well, but I know so. motion sickness is a very individual thing. Yes, yeah. Always a favorite are the elephants. You can see they're having a good time getting the water. They kick up the sand on their backs to, as a suntan lotion attempt. Oh, there they are. Wow, speak of the devil. Am I good or what? He's just doing it as I said that that's what they do. See, they throw that on there to keep them cool from the sun. Yeah. Very cute. Fly on the background, just throw that. All right. Enough about the elephant staying cool. Now it's time for Tom to stay cool. And I'm going to do that with a beautiful adult beverage. A free beer offered at Push Gardens Tampa. Two free beers for pass holders, one for non-pass holder. So if you do the math, that's three free beers for me because John doesn't drink beer. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So let's find out where that is. And then we'll move on to the couple more coasters we have to hit before we call it a day. All right, the free beer promotion here at the Twisted Pretzels. You go in there, show your uh, ID along with your, well, if you have an annual pass, you get two. And if you don't, you get one, but you do need to have you your, have your ticket, pass. Which I can't ticket. find mine. Freaking John. I know. It's Are you kidding me? The only reason he's here today That's right. is for a seven ounce free beer. Sorry, these, uh, hold it, just to clarify, for those of you looking, you think this is really seven ounces? Really? Okay. Pretty damn good. It's good enough. It's fine. Oh, okay, so here, only Bud Light. You get no options. And I don't know if that changes. It might change with whatever keg they have extra. But yeah, there you go. Free beer. If you have a friend uh, who's going to doesn't drink beer and uh, you're going to get his, just make sure he keeps his ticket, I guess. Wah, wah, wah. I know. I like Ridiculous. All right, so we're off to... Shikra. So Shikra's where I die. Shikra. But yeah, I've, now please feel free to die. Exactly. You can die now. <laughs> Freaking can't find his ticket. Oh, I was gonna Serengeti flyer. How ridiculous. Wow. So we're here by the Congo River Rapids, and according to this, it's less than 15 minutes. I can't be right. It is hot. How can ah? And I was right. Kumba. I knew this was right. The sign had just said, then it said, said nothing about Kumba, only the River Rapids. But I knew it felt like the Kumba was here, so. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much of a line for the Congo River Rapids, which is really weird. Because it's warm. Now it's time for what I think is the, well, from, well, from the last time I rode it, the most intense ride in the park. So we'll see if it's still as intense as I recall. It sounds intense. All right, we're on going. What we literally walk on is a walk on, so uh, not too bad. So let's do it. It's now uh, 11:47, and I feel like I'm melting. I am so hot. Okay, 
god. <laughs> what do you think? That was great. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This thing was so intense. If you watch the POV, this thing, it, the, it pushed the thing back like three times. I, at the end, I just had to hold it upright. That way, it wouldn't go back. I mean, I know it's nothing, nothing oh new my and innovative, god. but it's, it's the, a more extreme version of all the different elements. It's, yeah. When we first got back and we actually stopped at a regular pace, like my body was still go, like it felt my my vision was still like I was still going fast. <laughs> it took a minute for everything to catch back up. Wow, yeah. And uh, the dude down from us, uh, yeah, he, this is the second time in a row. He's just like, you know, what? I love it. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. You good? I'm good. And again, this was a walk on, so. Um, yeah, this never gets that big of a line. So, oh man, it's good stuff. Because of its location in the park. Yeah, and the intensity of it. All right, we are now in the Sheikra queue. It is a 45 minute posted wait. So, uh, we'll see. It's 1 p.m. at the moment, which would indicate that we should be out of this queue or out of this ride at 1.45. So, let us wait and see. Alright, here we go. We are Sheikha. Okay. We're closing. You excited for Sheikha? Of course I'm excited for Sheikha. Woo -hoo. Let's see if I survive. Well, I'm getting old. We got in at 1 o'clock. It's 1.30. So it was a 30 minute wait, even though it was close to 45. So we did skip ahead one car. Yeah. One train. Because there's two of us got in. So. sense to have three cars running. Yeah, <laughs> the dispatches are that slow. Forget about it. All right, well, we came to a, an abrupt end. John had some friends show up and we hung out with them, had a couple beverages and chatted. So uh, the day got away from us. We did ride a Scorpion. Mm -hmm. Scorpion. Um, I'll put that video right here or over. But, yeah.
um, that's it. Uh, the, the storm's rolling in, so basically all the rides, well, that's not true now, because I see a ride going as we speak. They're, they're trying to test it. I think there's feet. Oh, there's people on there. Yeah, there's You're feet. Right. Yeah, there's already I'm people wrong. on it. That was quick, uh, quick through. Right. But um, uh, Tigris was the only one we didn't ride. Well, I mean, other than the Wild Mouse. Yeah. But uh, I don't really consider that a coaster. But yeah, Tigris wasn't running. I don't know if it was down for the day or the whole, you know, just for when we walked by it. So we never did get to ride that. But overall, I think it was a pretty good touring plan. Anything that you would change? Possibly maybe doing Cheetah Hunt prior to? Yeah, we're still debating the Cheetah Hunt versus Iron Gwazi opening. Yeah. I, and the Serengeti Flyer is an anomaly because we got lucky. Yeah, it was a, basically a walk-on. It was a five-minute stop. So we never got back to that side of the park to find out if the queue ever or the, the wait time ever got higher. I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty, it, like I said, it goes 40 people at a time. Right. It's outside. Like, it's not close. You don't walk, people don't walk by it. No. Yeah, so you have to be going there if you want to ride it. So maybe it just keeps, just maintains a, you know, a small wait time. Who knows? But uh, yeah, overall, it was a great day. John, what do you think? I think it was a really good day. We did well this morning. Obviously, this is Bush Gardens, so operations are not as smooth as you might be for those of you more familiar with Disney or Universal. So it's harder to get through. Like if you have a touring plan for Universal, you can plan on things getting through and working a little more systematically. Unless you're trying to do early entry at Islands Adventure, then God bless you. <laughs> um, Pack your patience. Yeah, exactly. But so it seemed to take a lot more time to get through attractions than it should. Yeah, but the that's loading been a times. That's been a constant complaint with SeaWorld Parks Entertainment for a while. A li little slow, but you know, it is what it is. So right. if you know that going in, it's not going to be a surprise and, and you just deal with it and keep on going on the day. I think it was a it was a glorious day. It was fun. So I think that is it for this one. Please go to Twitter and like Pastor John Self. That would be glorious. Visit vacationerspodcast.com where you'll see a lot of John's writings as well as piratesandprincesses.net. Uh, attractions magazine what else we mickey visit mickey visit and maybe some other ones just follow his twitter he'll pretty basically put uh, a lot of his stuff on there to say that he has new articles coming out and please like and subscribe to the youtube channel i greatly appreciate that we've been on an uptick recently getting a lot of new subscribers so thank you thank you thank you i greatly appreciate that but i guess until the next time keep making memories and as always eat like you mean it oh yeah <laughs> I wish there was an article that really laid out yeah, I wish. everything about it. Maybe an article on pirates and princesses? Dude, you have one on Vacationers Podcast. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh man, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, go to the my website, vacationerspodcast.com and uh, read all about it.